Ah, New York City, with the lights, the sounds, all the billboards, and the women and a man getting came punched up and in, in the, the head, face. and then immediately making a TikTok about it, and it being funny. But that's okay, because New York has a brand. So what is New York City's brand, you might be wondering? Well, to figure that out, we have to ask the mayor, the big cheese, Eric Adams. He'll tell you all about it. We have a brand. New York has a brand. And when people see it, it means something. Ah, shit, shut it down. Well, I thought that was going to be I Heart New York. But no, I guess the brand is actually punching women. Leaving a giant goose egg on their head and doing nothing about it. Punching women, that is the brand of New York City. It is going to hell in a handbag. So what do these women have to say? Let's take a look, shall we? You guys, I was literally just walking and a man came up and punched me in the face. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. I can't even talk. Literally, I fell to the ground, and now this giant goose egg is forming, and I'm like, oh my god, it looks so crazy. Yikes! Holy cow, look at the size of that goose egg. I mean, you could crack that puppy open and make an egg sandwich out of it. Oh my goodness. But what does she do? She doesn't go to the doctors. She doesn't go to the police. She gets on her phone, and she makes a TikTok, because that's what a TikToker does. So I just got punched in the face walking home. I was literally like leaving class. I turned the corner and I was looking down and I was looking at my phone and like texting and then out of nowhere this man just came up and hit me in the face. I'm like actually in shock right now. I'm just like walking home because what else do you do? Well sweetheart, a normal person would have called the police but you were too busy defunding them for them to be of any use anyhow. But the next best thing would be to seek medical attention. But no, you, sweetheart, decided to make a TikTok. Um, uh, yeah, listen, so I, I have fallen victim to uh, the, <laughs> the um, men in New York City lifting an elbow or trying to punch innocent girls on the street. Except I wasn't on my phone. I was with my coworkers walking in Times Square. So be safe out there. This is my first TikTok. Oh, she's so pretty. You're telling me that you got beat up and the very first thing you did was I'm gonna make my very first TikTok. Women are so overrated. What the hell is wrong with these people? But at least this woman didn't get thrown down the stairs. Sure, being punched in the face sucks, but being thrown down the stairs sucks a whole lot more. But then we have this doozy from council member Amanda Farias. She's responding to the Women's Caucus who's condemning the violence against women. Council member Amanda Farias says, Where are the men calling this out? Like, are you f***ing kidding me right now? The men calling this out? There was a man who called it out who saved people on a subway in New York City and you put him in jail. Nobody's gonna want to stick their neck out for you. Not now. Like, you did this. You did this. Especially when you then went on a public smear campaign and you supported Jordan Neely. You know, the bad guy. And condemned the good guy, Daniel Penny. So is it funny when an Instagram chick or two gets a smack on the head? Yes, it is. I'm not gonna lie. I chuckled at the first one, and I even chuckled at the second one. But on the third one, and the fourth one, and the fifth one, it is really obvious that all of the criminals, all of the crime, the decay, the destruction of New York City is actually very dangerous. And women in that city should be afraid because these attacks, they're getting more and more serious. What more are girls going to have to go through in order for it to be legal for us to carry something? Anything, like even pepper spray is illegal in New York. What you guys need to do is stop begging for your rights, get the hell off of your knees, and start voting like a big girl. For the past couple of days, all I've been seeing on my timeline is girls from New York who are complaining and crying about how they're just getting punched in the face randomly by random men on the street. Bam! They're just walking down, minding their business, maybe they're on their phone, and they're just getting punched in the face. 
just randomly. Now you're not gonna like this answer because I'm pretty sure your state has brainwashed itself into conning you guys into thinking if you vote for anyone else except the blue party, then you're somehow racist. But it's seriously time for you to wake up and realize that this party get, doesn't give a damn about you. With your help, they have effectively removed all lines of defense that you can have on the streets. When the Republican Party was talking about how they need to, you guys need to fight for your gun rights because gun rights are women's rights, you guys were complaining, oh my gosh, no, guns are scary, school shooting, mass shooting, we need to get rid of guns. And I remember people asking the question, well, how are you going to defend yourself from the criminals that are raging through your streets right now? Your answer was to say, um, hello, we have the police, but also we're gonna defund the police. Like, are y'all okay? Because it's giving remedial. Bombshell Bell, bringing the truth bombs. Gun rights are women's rights, and don't vote for the party that wants to bring in the communism. It's time to stop being afraid of being called a racist or a fascist or even literally Hitler. We need to shake off the social decay and start defending ourselves and those more vulnerable. By that, I obviously mean women, because it's going to take a long time to repair all of the damage the Democrats have done. Elections have consequences, and so do leftist policies. Thank you to all of my supporters, and remember, don't punch women in the street.